Hi there, and welcome to this live demonstration of the Xenon app. Xenon lets you export your Figma designs into Oxygen Builder shortcodes automatically. So what you're looking at here on the screen is Xenon and it's pulling in elements from an existing Figma file, which I'll show you in just a second. So the way that this works is it pulls in the elements like I mentioned, and you can pick some or all of these elements if you want. What happens is your elements in Figma get mapped directly to Oxygen elements. So things like a frame or a group in Figma become a div in Oxygen. Text elements become text in Oxygen and so on. Not only that, but it also maps all of your styling. So things like colors, fonts, spacing, box shadow, and even stroke will get mapped over into Oxygen for you automatically. So what I'm going to do is show you exactly how this works Take a peek into my Figma file and I'll show you what it looks like when you get the export into Oxygen. My goal with this app from the outset was to cut down on development time by up to 75%. And I think based on this example and how you might use it, you'll see that that's possible. So if we take a look at our Figma document, you'll notice that I have kind of an example website layout here. And what I've done is gone ahead and grouped and framed all of these different elements into what I want them to become in Oxygen. So what I mean by that is a group and a frame in Figma becomes a div in Oxygen. So I have one frame here called header that will become kind of our header wrapper. Then we have another for our menu links. And inside of that, we have just a simple button along with a few text links. Then of course we have our logo image and you'll notice Figma organizes in a bottom to top layout, but in Xenon and in your export in Oxygen, it will be organized correctly. So you just need to make sure that if you want your header first, it's actually last in your sidebar in Figma. The same thing is true for this hero section. So I have a frame here and inside of that frame, I have my graphic and I have an additional frame. Each of them will become divs of course. And inside of that, again, I have a button along with text elements. Like I already mentioned, all of your different properties such as font family, font weight, size, color, and all those different properties will map over directly to Oxygen automatically. Not only that, but also if you take advantage of auto layouts in Figma, you also get the ability to add different spacing. So if I increase this, you can kind of see how this works. So it was set to 30. And what that means is that it's applying 30 pixels of space between these elements, each one inside this container. So what we've done is with vertical layouts, it's going to apply 30 pixels of margin top to every element in the container, except the first one. The same thing is true for horizontal layouts. It's just adding margin left instead of margin top. So that's how we're going to achieve the spacing between the elements for you automatically. Now auto layouts are extremely cool because they map directly to flex properties in oxygen. So an auto layout of vertical will map to a flex direction of vertical. The same thing is true for horizontal here as well. Now, the other thing is you can take this even a step further with these alignment options here. So you have all of these different alignment controls here, and these are going to map directly to the oxygen controls as well. So this would be the equivalent of horizontal and vertical center. You can do you know left and right alignment and all those different properties like that. If you're using images in your file like this, then they are going to exist as placeholders in Oxygen that are correctly sized for you, and you just simply grab the image out of your media library and replace it, and that's it. Xenon can, of course, handle more complex layouts like this. So if we take a look at this feature section here, we have a container on the right side and the left side. Inside of this one, we have yet another section with a right side and a left side. And once again, we have another layer here. So this is how you would probably build this in Oxygen utilizing these divs. And so however your Figma file is laid out is exactly how it's going to appear in Oxygen. We also have smart behavior for vector images. So if you are using vectors, it's just going to simply get replaced by a single image placeholder in Oxygen for you. And again, you'll just grab the image and stick it into the correct spot. So what I want to do now is go ahead and actually show you how this export looks in Oxygen once we run it through Xenon. So what I'm going to do is grab my document ID for this Figma document. We'll switch back over here to Xenon and in the first step of our export flow, what we're going to do is paste in our Figma document ID. Now in the future, we are gonna have this app do more than just Oxygen, but for now, that's the only choice. Also in the future, we are going to add the ability to autocomplete class names for your frameworks like Automatic and Oxy Ninja Core. I'll show you what that means in just a second. So now I've proceeded to the second step of the export flow. So what I would do is probably just go ahead and select everything on this page. There's a couple of other things for you to take note of here in the interface. So one of them is going to be this ignore Xenon style mapping tick box. And what that means is that all of the things I mentioned in terms of color, spacing, box shadow, and those sorts of styles are going to be ignored. And instead you'll use classes to kind of handle that styling for your elements across the site. 
So if I generated this right now, it's still going to respect my groups and frames, all the organization that we did in our Figma document. And that way you're essentially building the DOM, you're building the page content with no styling. This was a popular request during our beta phase because people who use these utility class frameworks wanted everything to be handled by that and not anything on the ID of the element. However, I'm going to go ahead and ignore that for now and I'm not going to add classes just so you can see how everything maps over. And then the next thing is if you want to add elements to an existing page in Oxygen, you can do that with this shortcode start ID. More information on that is available in a separate video. But just to point out, you can actually use this to add content to an existing site as well. So now that I have all my elements selected, what I'm going to do is click on generate shortcodes. You can see how fast it generated all the shortcodes for this page. So I'll just simply click to copy these. I'm gonna move over into an Oxygen install and I'll just use a template in this example. We'll edit this template in the back end, expand the plus shortcodes option and paste those shortcodes in, click on update and then edit with Oxygen. And there is our result. So right away you can see we have this container which is set to space between and it has a width of 100%. That comes from a Figma property called fill container. I'll show you in a second. But here is what I touched on where you have an image placeholder that is correctly sized. So all I would need to do is go in my media library, grab the image and swap it out. My hero image was this one right here. And so there you go. You can see how much this has done for me automatically. So if I go ahead and expand my structure panel, you can see what I talked about before. So I have a main page wrapper. Inside of that, I have my header container with my image and my div for the menu links. In the second section, I have my hero container. This has the inner content. I have a div and I have an image. And then down here, it gets even more complex because of course we have multiple divs all inside of each other to achieve this layout here. So if I go ahead and save this and we take a look on the front end, you can see what it looks like. So of course I don't have a max width set on these containers, which you might want to do, but as you can see, everything has come over from Figma automatically. If I take a look at one of these elements, you can see I have the font family, color, font size, weight, and so on. I even have things like background color and border radius on this div. So all I would need to do to turn it into an actual button is just simply turn it in, into a link wrapper and I could just add the link and there you go. Now you have a fully functional button. So at this point, what you would probably want to do is work on your mobile optimization, maybe add some classes and you're basically set. So this is what I touched on before where the goal of this product is to save you up to 75% of your development time. You're instead building from a nearly complete desktop foundation. I hope this preview excites you as much as it does us. Definitely let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And for more information, please visit xenonapp.com. That's X-E-N-O-N-A-P-P.com. I really appreciate your time and I so look forward to seeing you as a member on Xenon in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.